number five. If I'm going to use a lot of instances of contact, I'm just going to hit Command D. This will just copy and paste multiple instances of this. I can copy a channel set, which is Command C, but here I'll show you the menu. I'm going to deselect all the channels, which is Command U, and then all I need to do is paste Command V. And I've just doubled all my instruments. Number four. So I'm going to pretend that this is a trumpet section. So I'm going to change the name to trumpet. I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to get these instruments numbered consecutively. Number three. All right, coloring. So Control C brings up the color palette. Now this is the older color palette, but if you click here in this white area, you get the system color palette, which is great because in the system color palette, uh, at least on Mac OS and I believe in Windows too, you can add custom color palettes. For instance, this one is a third party color palette, which is great, which I use all the time. So for instance, if I want a gold color, like a deep gold, like something like that. And let's say I want to use this more than once. I'm going to save it in the color picker. Great. Number two. All right, next I'm going to remove all of these stereo patterns. Hold down Option, Delete. I'm going to add a bus, Command B. I'm going to go ahead and set up one channel. So I'm going to set this send to the reverb bus. I'm going to make it pre-fader and I'm going to double click on this to make it zero dB. All right, now check this out. I'm going to select the channel at the bottom. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy feature sends. Now I'm going to deselect that channel, which is command U. I'm going to select the channels I want to paste this to, and now paste sends. And there we go. Number one. I'm going to rubber band select these four channels, and I want consecutive port numbers. So I'm going to option click the first port number, and now I have port one, two, three, four, all in Omni mode. That's a typical setup. Or another way, I'm going to command click the port. Now I get all port ones, but I'm going to hold down option as I click on the MIDI port and I'm going to get consecutive MIDI ports. That's another typical setup. Bonus tip. To finish this off, I'm going to delete these pans and I'm going to automate this VCA. So I go to this VCA track, I select volume, I hit L, and now I'm automating the VCA fader with a hardware fader. That was fast. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them below. See you guys soon.